you love to put things together and work with the Raspberry Pi. Well, how about if we put big together a big hexapod robot kit? This works with the Raspberry Pi 3 and Raspberry Pi 4 as well. This is a big guy. I'm going to show you this open box right now and what we get. How are we doing everyone? My name is Dario from MediaBoxNT.com and yes, we're going to put this together. But actually this one is an open box. I'll show you what all the parts we get if you guys are interested to build one of these things. But at the same time, I want to give you an invitation. This coming up Saturday, March 6th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Time. We're going to put this live event. We're going to put this guy together. So remember, we already did, and let me show you the other guy we put all together. Right over here, we did the robot, we did a life event and this, and this is another cool guy. But let's go in, let's check this out first. Oh, sorry. Okay, so we got here, big hexapod robot kit for the Raspberry Pi 3. Now, I have to tell you something. I love this company because everything is nice and clean. Instructions with PDF, they have their own GitHub. So, no question, super clear the instructions. If I didn't make a mistake, because I made a mistake, not because them. I didn't follow the, the instructions clear for myself. But here, nice. Website, how to download it. But first thing, just go into the GitHub, download everything, the zip file, and then easy to update your uh, Raspberry Pi. Let's see what we get. This is a big guy, guys. So first, I want to show you this, and do not think to through this paper ever, because this is going to be your calibration mode. With this, you're going to calibrate the big guy. Check this. If it is bigger than my camera right now. So this is what you're going to put the legs and be able to calibrate the Y, C, and X. Right? To be able to calibrate this guy. So never lose this up. You're going to do this with Windows or Mac to calibrate. Now, again, card for more instruction. It's all acrylic. Pretty heavy. Nice. Again, no different than this guy I just built. Right? So you guys can see. Right? Guess with everything. By the way, a few things you need for the here. You're going to need a Raspberry Pi either 3 or 4. I recommend get Raspberry Pi 3. And you need the batteries. Okay, you need four batteries. I will leave the link right below this video. You need the 18650. Okay? So you need the batteries for that. So we have this out. And then the servos. 18 servos. Look, these are big ones compared... Uh, compared to the other one, yes, you can put even a, a bottle of water on top of this this hexapi and will be able to sustain the weight compared to these little guys, right? So 18 of this and 18 and two of the small ones. Now this is the control board. That's the one you're gonna pick it back to the Raspberry Pi 3. That's where you control the servos. Comes with the screwdrivers and it comes with everything. So in reality you don't need to you don't need any special tools. Battery wise we're gonna use four batteries for this. It comes with all nice and neat to screw. There's always extra screw. That's nice in case you missed up on something. A lot of screws. Some are 80. So it's going to take a while to pull this together. So a lot of screws. A lot of things here. If it comes with the socket. And we look here. So here we have the camera. The modules. The, the GPU connector. The module. The NPU. Uh, C50 module. The ring light cable. The four cables to connect everything else. So it even comes with a small tiny ratchet. And camera wise, be able to connect between the Raspberry Pi, the MPU board here, the LED lights, cables, the ultrasonic, even the two servos are gonna control the head. All right, everything, even to make everything nice and organized, as you saw on the previous one. So in reality, it's pretty much organized. It takes some time to pull this together. It's a fun thing to you know do that in a Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Yes, on Saturday, same Saturday, we're going to begin with this. And because when we finish the live event, I'm going to show you how the whole thing works. So we're going to do a little program. The catch with the program will be exactly the same. We're going to be doing with that unit too. So I'll show you how this whole thing works. And actually recognize your face this once. And it follows a little ball. And you can change the light and everything else. It's kind of a fun thing to, to build. So Saturday, guys, we're going to begin with this. And then we're going to move right to the exit part. Okay. So I see you Saturday at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. I'll leave you the link right below this video so you guys can uh, follow me on Saturday. I'll see you. Bye.
Thank you.